The alveolar capillary membrane is a layer of tissue that serves as a barrier through which gas exchange occurs between the alveoli and pulmonary capillaries. We created this video to cover the medical definition and provide a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. You may have heard it referred to as the blood air barrier because the alveolar capillary membrane forms the layers of tissues through which gases must diffuse. This membrane is formed by the type 1 pneumocytes of the alveoli and endothelial cells of the capillaries. There is a basement membrane between the two cells. The barrier is permeable to molecular oxygen and carbon dioxide which allows for cellular respiration to occur. Some of the factors that influence the diffusion of gases across the barrier include pressure gradients, the thickness of the tissue, solubility, and the diffusibility of the gas. Perfusion refers to the amount of blood that flows to the alveolar capillaries. For the body to be able to obtain oxygen, there also must be a sufficient amount of blood passing through the lungs to pick up oxygen molecules so that it can be transported to all of the organs and tissues of the body. Ventilation refers to the amount of air that enters and leaves the alveoli. For the body to be able to obtain oxygen, there must be a sufficient amount of air that reaches the alveolar region of the lungs. The efficiency of alveolar ventilation relies on the amount of air that reaches the alveoli. For example, if alveolar ventilation increases, the lungs would remove too much CO2, causing the PaCO2 to decrease. This is known as hyperventilation and would result in an increased pH, which is known as respiratory alkalosis. The opposite is true if alveolar ventilation is decreased because then too much CO2 would accumulate in the body, causing the pH to decrease and this is known as respiratory acidosis. The alveolar capillary membrane is the important barrier that facilitates the exchanges of these gases which is required to sustain life. Again, for this video we just wanted to provide you with a brief overview of this topic. We'll be breaking it down into much more detail in a separate video. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.